We're back from a hiatus, back with Soul Loveling, but I hear today's episode was kind of set up. Can't have every episode pop off, right? Let's begin today's reaction. Wait, she has like some kind of scars in the back. Do you see that? Wait, wait, wait. Mom has like scars in the back of her neck here. Wonder what that's about. They're in the demon castle. That's why we should go with Jin Ho and clear those 20 gates. Yeah, 19C rank raids. We get 22.5 million USD dollars, by the way. The amount of ones the Jin Ho proposed, that's like the valuation of his guild, he's giving it to Sung Jimu. 22.5 million USD. Insane. <laughs> we do it by ourselves. Yep. No, it's not pre watched. We just got spoiled by Annie News and other soul leveling <laughs> video essay commentary channels. <laughs> yeah, so he can get all the EXP and the mats and the loot, of course. Quota. Easy. We already saw how they did it, right? Just make him sign up, give him a couple money, you're a non-participant, sit the fuck out. Easy. Mm -hmm. At least he taught us something before we killed him. Jinho, you don't have to do anything either. Just let Jinho do it, man. That would be pretty hyped up. Aniki. Boss. Oh, sister? Oh my goodness, the cameraman is always fucking ready. I swear to God. Chai in anytime she's in, the cameraman's like, yes, sir. Let me just lower the fucking angle. I'm ready, sir. Every fucking time Chai in is in the frame, the cameraman's like working overtime, dude. Pay this cameraman more, dude. Oh my God. He's just so ready. He's so ready. Bro, the cameraman has been locked in since the fucking trailers when she did a fucking backflip over that fucking motorcycle. Oh my god. This is where all the budget went. <laughs> Let's uh, increase the volume for a bit and listen to her drink the water. Just, just one second. Just. <laughs> oh. This. Yeah, the cameraman is an S rank hunter for sure, man. The cameraman is so ready. He got all the best angles, bro. He knows what we want, dude. God damn. So, is there any meaning to this? She knew that someone was fucking creeping. <laughs> the perception. I don't know. What is that? They're trying to. Poacher? What is it? You- Oh! Dad! Jinho's dad trying to- Smart! Well, I don't know if this is Jinho's dad, but Yujin Construction is the company, so they're basically trying to poach um, Cha in as the S-Rank Hunter. Smart! Smart! She is- she's got the clout, man! CGI cars. That's the dad. That's the dad. Oh, that could have been the first brother, huh? The older brother. Yeah, it could have been. That's right. The entire world revolves around the gates. Because the dungeon dude, watching any news video before this was perfect because like they're talking about how basically the entire economy revolves around these dungeons where there's so much profit that you can make on it. A major electric power company files for price increase. Uh, decrease mod X. Yeah, some fucking polit politics and drama and news about you know, the gates and different companies. Okay, Dad. Alright, Dad. That's right. The Hunters Association is Gogun He's like organization, right? Basically the main government body that rules over all the hunters. But there's like different guilds that basically are like big companies that you know that, that wants to get like the best, you know, hunters. Yeah, they just grades them. Then different guilds take them. Right, so apparently like the way that Annie described it, they manage, they manage the gates that don't go to auction, meaning like basically people are basically wanting to take down the um, A, B, C rank um, gates because they have the most money, but D, E is like who gives a fuck? So all like the top tier guilds will go for those like high rank ones, but like the scraps, the leftover, the D and E rank people, apparently they like, they like get defaulted into the association because they're too weak to get into a proper guild. But then the association apparently like handles the gate breaks too. So it looks like the gate break actually is quite strong, right? Sorry, the association is quite strong. Okay. The guilds. Guilds. 
ギルドというハンターのダンジョン資源の獲得をもってして、莫大な利益を得た。And daddy wants the money! ハンターミギルド、リーパー、養生ギルド、OK、シダンギルドの国内五大ギルドは強大。Five top guilds in Korea? Basically, Apple, Microsoft, Google, you know, fucking, you know, the big companies, alright? I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if I can do it. We've contributed so much to this country, it's our responsibility to handle this. Come on, Dad. Come on, you don't believe this shit. You just want a bit of the fucking pie. I know you. Because he's too late into this game, right? Bro was too busy with the construction shit. He didn't realize how much money he was losing out on from the dungeon business, right? So he's like, oh, you know, it's my duty to uphold to the Korean civilians. I need to get in there and make my money for the Korean civilians. Fuck you. Let's get the bag. Shin was really intimidated by dad. Yeah, because you got big bro. You got Jin Woo. Alright, cool little scene with dad. That's kind of epic. See, the cameraman doesn't pan to like Sung Jin Woo's ass. You notice that? There's a clear difference in where the cameraman's attention is, right? Whenever Cha Hae-in's in frame, cameraman is ready right behind. Whenever Jin Woo's in frame, cameraman might like look at the abs, but that's about it. <laughs> Looks like anything else tries and count. Okay, so we can't go over our daily limit quest anymore, okay. But we got the secret quest last time. We can't do that anymore? Alright. We want a Gamba? Gotcha, gotcha. Gamba! Oh! Uh, I think we just got a shit roll there. I, th I think this is like a three star pull. Damn, god damn it. Bingo card? What the fuck? That was an L. <laughs> L. <laughs> Damn, okay, little stats to come through. So he's level 26 now, right? The 5k HP, 500 mana, still... Oh, we got way more agility now compared to strength and basically vitality in has been left alone has been growing just by the default plus one, I guess. We have three points left too. Yo, we need to put it into int, man, because we need more mana because we're getting like these like new skills that requires mana, right? <laughs> Then we might get some good shit? Could we kill the centipede? Jinho. Let's go there and flex. Come on. Oh, we might be able to flex on some D ranked people, man. What is this? School? Kendo? Oh, I, I, oh, you don't have an arm anymore. What, oh, Mr. Song? This is like a 60 something year old man, by the way. Bro is beating up little kids with one arm in this kendo dojo. Now nah, he's retired, right? He's just chilling now, right? Oh, he's back. No. You wouldn't pick this up. Yo! Maybe it's time to flex on our. Traitors, you know? Maybe it's time? Let's see if we can make it Remember that? Mr. Kim, honestly, he did leave, leave his sword behind. That was kind of useful, but mm, if these fucks are, if, if these dudes, you know, get the call and they show up to that D-ranked dungeon, Sung Jin Woo might be like, ew, what's up? I look cool now, don't I? Yeah, get a real job, bro. You're fucking putting your life on the line every time. True. Oh. Oh. Wait, this this isn't this isn't death flags, right? No, I don't think this is death flags. No, 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 no. Right. I mean, I mean, the way that they're setting it up is a little. Surely they wouldn't send us to dangerous dungeon again. Oh, oh, Mr. Kim, I don't know. Cap. Papa, are you strong? <laughs> you bet I am. I definitely didn't fucking run out crying last time. <laughs> Lying to your little daughter, Cap. Have you no shame? 
Which guild is this? This is the uh, Hunter's Guild and Mr. White Tiger. They seem to be kind of friends. Acquaintances. This cheeky motherfucker. <laughs> How sketchy you are. What do you want, Aizen? Uh, research report on the Eugen construction. Oh, you better crush them before they start getting big. Wait! But the Eugen construction guild, Jinho's technically... Well, that's separate, right? Jinho's gonna make his own guild, but technically he's trying to get father's recognition. But, like, father is already trying to make his own guild. I don't know. Maybe somehow this is gonna turn into like them like working, I don't know, interacting with Sung Jing Mu and Jin Ho's guild. I'm not really... The construction is different though. That's the first son in him. <laughs> Just throws it on the ground. What is it? What do you want, Aizen? What is it? Cheeky dude. Chu Hee! Still depressed. Get your shit together. Am I mean? Yes. Because she's already been power crept by Cha Hyun, dude. What did you just say, mom? Mom, what, 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 what? You're B rank, right? I'm sure most folks would be pretty strong in that case. Well, wouldn't you just be getting in the way? Thanks, mom. Jesus Christ, mom. Okay, oh, Jesus. Sorry for being such a failure. Uh oh <laughs> This is a typical Asian mom though. <laughs> you are kind of in the way. What are you doing? He keeps moving forward. What are you doing? Wait, is there a redemption for Juhi coming? I don't know. <laughs> I'm still team Chaheyin, man. Everybody! Every- oh! Oh, we're gonna get more things ever. Everybody is getting the same D rank request to it's all the same people, you know? Oh yo, they're all gonna meet. They're gonna fucking witness Sung Jin Mu after like six episodes. Holy shit, he's gonna change so much. Everyone's gonna be like, who the fuck is this guy? Is she part of the White Tigers? She is, right? I don't know what guild she's in. Is she is she in the Hunters Association? No, Hunters Guild! So she's in Hunters Guild, never mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. So she is Hunter's Guild. Mm. Pretty enticing offer, Guild Master? Nah, this is exactly what you do. All right, well, they're going to pay me this much. You know, it's a lot more than what you're paying me right now. Can you, like, you know, bump my pay up? It's, I'm going to leave then. Art of negotiations. <laughs> Fucked up. Fucked up. In this brutal world of capitalism, the only thing that's going to save you is getting better deals from somewhere else and leveraging that. Mm -mm, she did not read Art of the Deal. We got nothing from this. Bro's having a rough day. Jeju Island, the ants, episode one stuff. The island itself has been sealed off. Dungeon break. So the ants obviously are just stuck on the island? Okay. Dude, they're really hyping up this Jeju Island ant arc, man. Wait, he's known as the ultimate weapon? Like, that's his title? He's actually getting pretty emotional about this too, man. I thought that he didn't really give a fuck. See? Look how emotional he's getting. He's known as the ultimate weapon of humanity because they face defeat, right? Yeah. He has a good heart. You can actually see his eyes now instead of, you know, a tinted lens like the white blur in his glasses when he really looks like sketchy, but he seems like he has a good heart, you know? He actually does care about, you know, the fate of Korea or something and, and saving the world from the Jeju Island. We all need to come to like a coalition to help out with the with the ants. Okay. So this is all just preparation for like future season contents. What do you leave behind? What comrades? Ooh. Pyongu, wasn't he? Oh, weren't they like S rank healers? I remember one of those names. What the fuck is this? Huh? What? Whoa, 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 whoa. What the fuck was this healer and the lightning guy? Oh, yeah, from episode one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the fuck? So, purple room, 
random that we've never seen before, they have to die. I have no clue what the fuck this is about. Who is they? It's a completely different person. It's, you should be asking, where is my brother? What have you done with him? Got 22.5 mil almost secured. He'll never have to fucking live again. Sorry. Work again. Bye-bye. Oh, uh, Mr. Song. Uh, don't worry, y'all don't have to fight no more. Sung Jin Mu is here. Oh, how you, you should you should not be able to recognize him. There's no fucking shot. No one should be able to even think that this is Sung Jin Mu. He is an entirely different person. He grew like another fucking foot. His entire facial symmetry structure has been realigned. Ain't no fucking shot. How would you know that it was? What do you mean? No fucking shot! You should be asking, God damn! Which fucking plastic surgeon did you visit in Gangnam? God damn, give me a fucking recommendation! <laughs> exactly, it's a terrible, it's a different person entirely. Yeah. Good question, didn't you lose a leg? They all just heal, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> When I woke up at the hospital, it was back. I see. <laughs> okay, so did, maybe there was an extra encounter that came to heal us. Like, oh shit. Okay, sure. Yeah, whatever. Mr. Song's a good guy. I like him though. Yeah, your arm. If only there was an extra healer for that. Right, wait, someone. Can't wait for Juhi and everyone else to see him again, bro. Where's Mr. Kim at? The gang is all... I, who the fuck are you, Mr. Bandana? I ain't gonna lie. I don't know who the guy on the far right is. Who the fuck are you? All the recognizable people have died anyways. But we got Mr. Juhi and Mr. Kim. So... <laughs> Can't even make eye contact. Yeah, you better be shamed. You better be fucking shamed, you fucking traitors. Then again, I don't blame them. I don't blame them at all. They were looking out for their own lives, right? It's a very realistic human response to just leave and look out for your own back, but you can't make eye contact, you cowards. Fucking apologize. Yeah, exactly. Mr. Kim couldn't even face Mr. Song afterwards, huh? <laughs> Juhi, don't give me that blushing look. Look, your new bangs, the new hairstyle, I like it. It's great. But, like, I know you're gonna get fucking power crept by Cha Hyein. I'm not fucking using my poles on her right now. No. We already know that patch, like, season two, right? Cha Hyein banner is coming. Why the fuck would I invest myself into this character when we already know she's done? Out of meta! <laughs> Okay, finally, someone that says, you look like a whole different person. It's almost like you are a different person. Yeah, you're so much taller. Your leg is back. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, who is this? 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 Creepy. Wait, are they sending inmates in? What the fuck? They're sending inmates in to the dungeon? I guess it's cheap labor, right? Put these like convicts in the dungeon and I, I guess it kind of makes sense. It's efficient. Oh, spiky hair, dude. Oh, this guy was with the uh, manager Wu, right from the association. Prisoner substitutes. Um, they're gonna fuck us though. So they're here to reduce their sentences. They have to act. I guess the incentive is, you know, if you want to get out of jail quickly, you know, clear this dungeon and, you know, try your best and don't be a piece of shit. Maybe the association people will come with us in the dungeon. Alright. Are you gonna at least, like, come inside and, like, you know, moderate them? He's a B rank. Okay, he's pretty strong, right? He's not A rank, but no, he's pretty strong. What, what was his name? It's really awkward, like Korean, um, this name is Kang Taesik, right? It's not T, it's a D sound, but for some fucking reason, every D sound is replaced with T in English. It should be Kang Taesik, but people are gonna say Taesik. I don't fucking know, it's weird translation from Korean to English. 
unless he actually is Kang Teshik, which is pr probably rare. It actually could be just a T. We do have like a, a T equivalent, but we do, but usually they do fuck it up and they always make the D sounds into T. I don't know. All right. We got him to look after them. I'm going in and clearing it. Shuhi's gonna come in. Yeah, they're pretty buff. Mr. Kong is gonna take him out? Okay. Okay, here's another thing. Maybe I'll take it back. Maybe, I'm not completely sure. People are gonna say I'm a fake Korean because they're gonna say like, No, his name actually is T-Sound. But, okay, here we go. At least, okay, I don't know if Teshik is actually Teshik or Teshik, T or D, but I can guarantee you, this K, it's actually Kang. It should be like G. It's never, it, it's never a K sound. It's actually Kang, like G, Kang. But, you know, it's fucking, it, the, the, the Korean translation to English is always so fucked up. This guy is surely not going to let these convicts fuck up, right? Right? Like, like. Surely he's a legit dude, and the convicts are not just gonna murder him, and they're gonna and the convicts are gonna start attacking us, and Jimu's gonna say, No, like this guy better be legit. I hope he is. Yeah, the way that Malarius is spelled it. Kong Teshik. Yeah, exactly. See? Mr. Song is so humble. Now the one person that didn't need to apologize is apologize. You motherfuckers should be bowing your heads too, begging for Sung Jimu's forgiveness. Oh, Mr. 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 Kong. Wait, wait, wait! Kong, Mr. Kong was... He came into the hospital, right? With Mr. Wu, he was there. He was there. Here's our fucking device. What's your power level? 10, huh? Bye-bye. But that look, he's like... Hold the fuck up. Hey, wait, 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 wait. This is gonna be very suspicious. So this is gonna be an interesting episode next episode where basically... We're, he's gonna have some Jimmy has to lay low because if he kind of pops off, Mr. Kong's gonna be like, Can you come with me and like use this device again? What rank are you really? Like, are, are, did you reawaken? You know that shit? Okay, okay. We gotta be very discreet. Yo, these comics are very happy about this gate though. They're so excited. That's the episode. All right, today was more set up, but a lot of world building, learning more about guilds. I implore you to go check out Mr. Anini's video about guilds. He goes in depth about the whole system, the way that the guilds function under the Hunters Association, the capitalism at its finest, using these gates to prop up their economy and stuff like that. And aside from that, there's a little bit more of Jeju Island Ant Arc, you know, setup, which is gonna be not this season. This is like end game content, right? So we're still doing that. Still teasing us with so much Shahe in. Oh my goodness. And I'm a fan. This girl, this girl seems seem like it feels really unnecessary, right? There's like no reason to like show them this. But they do incorporate it in a way that I feel like is meaningful, other than just the fan service. And because she exists, I just look at Juhi and I'm like, nah, you're out of meta already. Come on, I'm waiting for the next banners. And that's pretty much it. Next episode's gonna be very interesting because Mr. Kong, the administrator, the, the referee right here, right, has oversight of the convicts. But the convicts are probably gonna fuck around. But like, Sung Jun Woo, right, he was in the hospital. Mr. Kong was there. I don't think he recognized just yet, but Mr. Kong is probably like, Hold, wait, aren't, aren't, aren't you that guy? Wait a minute. And then the dot and the things are going to start making connections in his head. Then it's going to be a little bit more suspicious. So next episode, like no doubt we can fuck up the convicts. But the, the interesting thing is, can we do it without raising suspicions from Mr. Kong, right? So that's going to be very interesting. But that's it from me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the next, oh, sorry, other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.